Hello, welcome to this Corel Draw tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add pattern, texture, and shading to your apparel designs in Corel Draw. Here you can see I have my apparel design ready to apply my fills and shadow to. This texture here is a seamless swatch and a raster image. And this one is a seamless vector swatch that I created. Let's start off by getting both of these turned into pattern fills so that we can use them in our design. So we're going to head up to Object to Create Pattern Fill. For this raster image or this um, bitmap image, we are going to choose bitmap as the type. We're going to hit OK. You can see we get this crop cursor. We're going to trust where those nodes are and drag out to define the area we want to use for our repeat pattern. In the top left, you can see accept. Make sure that we have a 300 DPI resolution. And then I'm going to go to OK. Let's give this a name. And we can also choose a category for this texture. So you might have one already, so fashion perhaps, or you can also create your own category. I'm going to give this category a name and hit save. Now let's do the same for the vector pattern. So again, up to object, create, pattern fill, and this time we are choosing vector as the type. Again, trusting the software as it guides you to the edges, you can feel it pull and define that area that you want to create the pattern from. Again, up to the top left corner and hit accept. Give that a name. We choose the category again. I'm going to put that into fashion and hit save. So now I'm going to use the object docker and the properties docker to start to add my textures and patterns. So we head to fill and just along here you can see the bit back pattern fill and the vector pattern fill. I'm going to go ahead and add my vector pattern. You can see within here that these are all of the patterns I have within my library. Um, you can find your categories just here. Down here in transformation you can change the scale which I'm going to do now. I'm going to reduce that by 50% you can lock the ratio as well to make sure that it is consistent with the scale you can move the position of your print as well so if you do have a placement print you can move the position you can also change the angle and the rotation of your print let's again use the objects find the shape Add that pattern in. Adding in our bitmap texture pattern fill is just as easy. We're going to head to our object, choose a shape, back to properties. We're going to go to fill, but this time we are looking at our bitmap pattern fills and we can find our texture. Again, we can change the scale of that texture and we can change the position. We can also change the rotation. I'm going to continue to add the texture and the pattern to the rest of my design.
Now we have our pattern and our texture in place. Now let's add some depth and life to our apparel card. Sometimes adding pattern and texture means you lose your lines and detail. So adding shading can really, really help. This tool here is the shadow tool. This one here. Before I use the tool, I'm just going to make sure that my object is selected. There we go, just entered into the group. I'm going to grab the shadow tool and I'm gonna head up to this bar at the top and choose the preset. So I'm going to use inner glow. I'm gonna make sure that the color is on black and I'm going to click on the object I want to add my shadow to and click and drag to pull out a shadow. So can you see that I'm pulling the direction of the shadow? I'm gonna go directly down because it's gonna help create a shadow border essentially. And this is what I like to use on, on my cats. So this slider here, this white slider, allows us to control the opacity. And if we drag this box here, it controls the position and the spread. We can also control those things from this bar at the top as well. So let's increase the opacity. There we go. And let's increase the feather as well. So the, the softness of that shadow. So that, that's really started to lift it and make it look more three dimensional. Just going to add shading to the leg of our leggings. Let's zoom in this time. Again, let's grab our shadow tool and click and drag to create. Now you can see the difference it makes when I make this longer, that lighter part is spreading further down the leg. So that can be really, really useful. We're also going to use the slider. And it's all about tweaking these things until you get the result that you, you are looking for. And again, to get a little bit more precise control, we can use this slider at the top and a feather too. But again, it just gives you that depth and that three dimensional look that really brings our apparel cards to life. I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding the shading to the rest of the garment now. There you have it. We have a professional, easily editable apparel design with texture, pattern, and shading. Now it's time for you to give these techniques a try on your own designs in Corel Draw. To find out more about Corel Draw Graphics Suite for Business, visit coreldraw.com forward slash learn.